Okay, so I feel like you're not being honest with somebody about where you'd rather be putting your energy, um, you know, investing your time. I, I feel like this is like you not wanting to tell somebody that you're not interested in them. Let's see. But I, if that's the case, the tower is at the end of this. So if you don't tell this person, then something drastic's going to happen. So you might as well just get it over with now, I feel like. Something about this King of Cups for Pisces. Why is the King of Cups here? So we have Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you're just not being honest with this person that you really feel like it's... It's over. Like you, the feelings that you once had for them have changed. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Perfect. So we have Ace of Cups reversed and the Moon reversed. So this is your energy, but no longer wanting to invest in this like you, you have three of swords at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you're you're almost breaking yourself breaking your own heart instead of wanting to break this person's heart which is a very pisces thing to do i will say But you're not where you want to be. That's for damn sure. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. So you have Justice Reverse. Again, could we deal with a Libra? A Libra? But it's not fair to you. It's, it's not fair to you. And your only priority right now should be you. I mean, yes, it's good to be compassionate towards other people's feelings, but you need to put your feelings first. If you're not happy in a relationship, you shouldn't be in it. Don't invest yourself where you don't want to invest yourself. Tell me about the Empress. So King of Coins reverse. No longer wanting to put energy into this. No longer wanting to... Put productive action into this no longer this could possibly be that you are at a job that you don't want to be at this could be a relationship that you don't want to be in this could be you know both with the world at the bottom of the deck this could be a huge cycle that's wrapping up and the lesson that needs to be learned here is stop putting more effort into what you don't want to put effort into. If you don't want to be in a relationship, don't be in a relationship. If you don't want to work at a certain job, go find a new job. So we have the Five of Pentacles. Why right, is the Five of Pentacles here for Pisces? Ooh, too many. Why is the five of pentacles here? So we have seven of swords. This is like self-sabotage to me. Like you're just, you're only hurting yourself in this. Like you're so afraid of hurting this person that you're like putting yourself in like shitty energy. Like it's really time to think about yourself. You're the nine of coins at the bottom of the deck. Think about yourself. Tell me about the Four of Cups. So you have the Eight of Swords. You're super restricted. Like, you're, you're this mental prison that you're in. Like, this feeling like, like you're bored with this person. Like, this isn't what you want to do anymore, but it hurts you to feel like 
you might hurt this person. But this is what's causing your insecurities. This is what's causing, like, this mental prison. Like, you're putting this on yourself. Like, stop worrying about this person. I'm sure they'll be just fine. I'm, sure, I'm almost positive you're hurting yourself right now more than you would hurt this person if you told them you weren't in this 100%. Tell me about justice. You're the five of swords reversed. So I feel like this is linked to the tower. If you don't do something about this, the universe is going to step in because you're damaging yourself by by staying in a relationship or at a job that you don't want to. I, I'm not, you know, there's got to be some karma behind this that's really making it, like, seem like it's so much more dramatic than it needs to be, but it's really, it really looks like it's super, like, like, it's really harming you mentally to be in this relationship that you don't want to be in. This person could be a narcissist. And that's why it's so mentally damaging to you to stay in this relationship. And you are a water sign, so it could be that this is a narcissist and empath relationship. And you see this person for exactly who they are. But you, for whatever reason, are putting this person before yourself. Tell me about the tower. Like, this is like... You're going to need a lot of healing after this, for damn sure. So you have the Three of Cups, the Star, could be dealing with Aquarius, and the Five of Wands. Um, there could be somebody around you who wants to, who's really interested in you. But you've been fighting this connection. I don't know. Or this could just be that with that narcissist energy, like, the second you stop giving this person attention and all that, like, it's going to turn into, like, this huge fight. Um, I would probably, um, go see a counselor after this, or, like, if you ever, like, fear for your life because of this person, I would, like, definitely tell people, call the police if you need to go get your things from them, like, I don't know, I just feel like this person might get violent. Like, this could possibly be more than just narcissistic abuse. This could be physical abuse. And now that I'm looking at this, like, the Seven of Swords, like, I just see, like, somebody sneaking into your apartment. Um, so, Pisces, for people that this resonates with, um... If you are leaving an abusive relationship, make sure you let people know. There are, you know, I forget what they're called, organizations where um, victims of domestic abuse can go when they're trying to leave their abuser that will keep you protected, you and your children, if there are children involved as well. Um, and if you don't have something like that in your community or city or, you know, town, um, at least tell the police. Don't go over to the house to try to get through your things without the police there. Um, let the police know. File a restraining order if you have to. Um, you know, see if somebody that you trust or somebody that, you know, is like a bodyguard. See if they can watch your house for you or, I don't know, like... I do see that this could probably possibly get violent if you are dealing with a domestic abuse situation. If not, I do see narcissistic abuse. Um, 
And even if that's not the case still, I feel like this is just mentally taxing on you to continue being in this relationship. And it's either way, with all three of those possibilities, it's time to move on, Pisces. For your sake, stop worrying about this other person. They'll be just fine without you. Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands. Let me look at them real quick and I'll flip them around for you. So, this could be for some, not all. I feel like somebody is pregnant and that is causing a tower moment. If that's not the case, um, somebody may want to take the relationship to the next step, and I don't know if you're quite ready for it yet. So let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on here. Oops. Clarify the decadence, please. Why is the decadence here for Pisces? Clarify the decadence. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Two of Wands. So this could be a missed opportunity coming back around. Now this person wants to invest. Now this person wants to choose you. So if this doesn't have to do with a pregnancy, which I only feel for some, so I feel like for most this is going to be a good tower moment. It's somebody coming back around that you felt like you had a missed opportunity with, and they're coming back around to reinvest, to want to start something new. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. And I feel like this could happen very quickly with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of, Knight of Swords. So you have Three of Pentacles. This person's coming back in. They want to work with you now. They want to collaborate. This could be a soul contract coming in. Tell me about the magician. Clarify the magician. The magician is looking right over at these twins. So sh you could have manifested this to come back in. You could have been practicing the law of, laws of attraction here. So we have the Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Devil. Um, and the truth is coming out. And I feel like the truth here is that um, at one point this relationship was toxic and it just wasn't meant for it to happen in the past. And now that it is coming back around, it possibly could be meant to happen now. Now that you've done some healing and working on it and possibly this person is healed. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. So you have the Emperor. With the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So in the past, this person probably tried to control the situation by ghosting or by, you know, through silence. But I feel like they're coming back in wanting to work on things, wanting to be what you deserved all along. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Or it could be that this Emperor is controlling their urges, their temptations, their passions. So with the Queen of Pentacles, we have two of cups. So this is definitely um, a, relate, a new relationship manifesting, whether this is somebody from your past or somebody from a past life. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. So in the past, this person left you out in the cold, but now they realize the pain they've caused you. They realize that, you know, you were really there for them this whole time, and they're ready to come back in and contribute and reciprocate and give you all the love that you deserved from the beginning. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. And I feel like with this Two of Pentacles, you're going to have a choice to make. 
although you do want this person back, there was heartbreak in the past, Three of Swords. And you're going to have to really um, reflect on if this is something that you want back. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What is this message coming in for Pisces? So we have Queen of Pentacles. There's the Tower again. And Eight of Wands. So just repeating the cards that we have here. This person's coming back in, wanting to nurture the situation, wanting to um, start things over. And I really feel like this is a positive tower for you. But at the same time, this person broke your heart in the past. And you really have to work through those feelings of betrayal from the past, of what this person did. And, you know, kind of move past it if you can. If you can't, then it's not the time. But if you can, then I feel like the the effort will be reciprocated in this. So let me get you some final advice. See what shadow work needs to be worked on for this week. Final advice for Pisces. Oh, we got two of them. So we have the mother, mermaid, mother and child, and jellyfish portal. It's cards 19 and 33. So divination meaning is go with the flow. You have been fighting and struggling with your present situation without making much progress. Progress. It is time to take a page from the jellyfish's book and allow things to take their natural course. Although they have the capability of moving independently, jellyfish tend to allow themselves to drift along the currents of the ocean, trusting the process, not fighting what is. Do the same and may... And you may find yourself a more content, relaxed, and peaceful person, even if you wind up somewhere and you never expected to be. So that's definitely this emperor here that needs to learn to go with the flow and stop trying to control the situation. And with the mermaid mother and child, the divination message is heed maternal advice. Be attentive to advice from a trusted elder family member. A maternal figure from an older generation has much wisdom to offer when you need it the most. Be humble. Now is the time to listen and absorb. You may not hear what you want to hear, but rest assured you will hear what you need to hear. So listen with an open mind and the assurance that years of experience lie behind the words of wisdom you will receive. Be receptive to many venues. The advice may come in the form of a personal visit, an unexpected call, or any number of forms of communication. While you should be responsive, do not actively pursue this advice. It must come unbidden if it is to be sincere. So there's somebody in your environment who can help you through this, but also go with the flow, stop trying to control the situation, and let it just unfold, which I believe if you're the one that's, um, that, you know, kind of manifested this person back, um, if you're the one that's getting this tower moment, I feel like you have the five of wands <laughs> at the bottom of both decks. Just wanted to point that out. So somebody here is really fighting this. So whoever's fighting this needs to go with the flow. And there's advice to be given from somebody. Um, don't go out seeking it, but it'll be given to you at the exact moment you need to hear it. 